Using the fusion splicer to splice loose tube fibers, you will first need to arrange these fibers into ribbon suitable for mass splicing. To do this, you will need the Sumitomo FTA-02 fiber arranger. This procedure assumes that the cable is already prepared according to local practices. Place the arranger on a solid level surface. Remove the two shims and the shuttle pusher from the arranger and place them next to it. Locate a pair of applicator pads. The upper soft sponge applicator is used for a single application. The lower hard sponge applicator is reversible and is used for two applications before being thrown away. A wooden pick is included to help you remove the used applicator pad. To prep the cable before using the arranger, strip the cable jacket according to local practices. Total prep length is 36 inches, ribbon length is 4 inches, and the extra length is 3 inches. The arranger should be oriented with one side toward the cable and with the free fiber ends extending from the other side of the arranger. The shuttle is first located on the cable side. Use gauze wipes and pure alcohol to clean the gel from the unjacketed fibers. Unfasten and raise the fiber clamps to the vertical position. Insert the lower or hard applicator pad in the shuttle and slide the shuttle to the cable end of the unit. Insert the upper or soft applicator pad in the shuttle pusher. Select the fibers one at a time and slide them straight down into the vertical slots of the fiber arranger. Order the fibers from top to bottom by standard color code. The fiber ends must extend at least 3 inches past the end of the fiber guide. Be sure to verify that all of the fibers are of equal length. When all of the fibers are inserted, insert both shims loosely, then lower the fiber clamps to the horizontal position. Maintain a gentle pressure on the cable side shim and pull the fiber ends to even the fibers. Release the fibers and tighten the fiber clamp on the cable side. As with the first shim, maintain a gentle pressure and pull the free fiber end. Tighten the remaining fiber clamp. The fibers are now pulled tightly between the clamps with no slack. The next steps need to be done quickly and without interruption because of the fast drying adhesive used to bond the fibers. To apply adhesive to the lower applicator mounted in the shuttle, first raise the fibers by lifting both clamps upward. The shuttle is still positioned at the cable end of the track. Uncap the adhesive and apply a thin bead, approximately 3 16 of an inch by 1 half inch, lengthwise along the center of the lower applicator. Quickly cap the adhesive and set it aside. Return the fiber clamps to the horizontal position so that the fibers touch the adhesive bead. Place the shuttle pusher containing the upper applicator on the shuttle. Press down until the shuttle pusher bottoms out. Immediately slide the shuttle toward the free fiber end and then back toward the cable end. Remove the shuttle pusher and applicator pad from the shuttle. Simultaneously, raise both fiber clamps to the vertical position. Let the ribbon dry undisturbed for one minute. When the adhesive is completely dry, loosen the thumb screw on the free fiber end of the arranger. With a pair of scissors, cut the ribbon one-eighth of an inch from the inside of the fiber clamp on the free fiber side. Remove the shim and dispose of the scrap fibers. Loosen the thumb screw on the cable side of the arranger. Remove the shim from the fiber clamp. Remove the finished ribbon from the arranger and set it aside. Use the wooden pick to remove the lower applicator. 
Turn the applicator over so that it can be reused. Remove the upper applicator and dispose of it. Place the ribbon in an appropriate fiber holder and you are ready to strip, cleave and splice. For Sumitomo products, call 1-800-358-7378.